The retirement age of 55 was established during the days of colonialism, when the civil service was staffed by people from Great Britain. And when Belize became independent, it adopted that age and applied it to the existing system of the public service. But now, the government says there is an urgent need to reform the public service pension. Before we go any further, what is the government pension? You have served a certain number of years, and then you become entitled to a pension until death, basically. Your pension is like a second pay. So when government hires you, you work until you retire, and then you get a pay, and then from retirement until death, you get a pension. Dr. Philip Castillo is an assistant professor at the University of Belize who gave a PowerPoint presentation on the current government pension scheme at the second annual Gian Gandhi Memorial Lecture in April of 2022. Castillo's position is that there is an urgent need for pension reform because the scheme is unsustainable and Belize remains the only former British colony that has not yet had a public service pension reform. The current beneficiaries contribute zero to the pension scheme. So from 2008 to 2023, um, you're looking at um, um, how many years? About 15 years, basically. The pensions bill has jumped from 38 million, nearly tripled, near, at least increased by a factor of at least two and a half, from 38 million to 100 million. The government's proposal was that on July 1st, the pension reform for public officers would have taken effect. But there still has not been any amendment to the legislation governing the scheme. The government had started having dialogue on the topic in early February with the Public Service Union regarding the reform on the same grounds that Dr. Castillo presented. Minister of State and Finance, Chris Coye, indicated that government will meet again with PSU representatives later this week on the topic. Let's say those that have, are just using as examples, those that have up to 10 years of service. Um, the, the phasing in approach would be that the contribution rate would kick in on a, a yearly basis. So in terms of um, the contribution rate, let's say 1%, half from the employer, half from the employee for each year. So it takes 10 years to fully um, phase in the, the, the contribution um, rate mechanism. And then in the case of the retirement age, that it would be phased in on a yearly basis too. So it increases from 55 to 56, 56 to 57, and, and so forth. And then the replacement rate would be adjusted to 50%. So currently, replacement rate is basically like the, the average pension you get uh, um, as a percentage of the average salary that you retired at, at. If it's at 66, then it goes to 65 um, in the first year, six, 64 and, and, and thereafter. So that would take 16 years to, to fully implement. Koi compared Belize's public service pension rates to the rest of the region. You look at the, the total um, replacement rate of both the um, public officers pension plan together with the social security pension plan, um, and that is almost 100%. But the portion that is just the public officers pension plan, plan is around 66, 67%. So, so the adjustment would be um, to shift that from 66 to 50 percent. So overall, you still would be, um, let's say, around 80 percent replacement replacement rate. Um, if you compare that to the to the region, um, the the total replacement rate on average is around 61 percent. So, so as it is currently close to 100 percent, we are. 30 to 40 percent higher than what is um, what um, prevails in the region on the average Caribbean. in the entire Latin America and the Caribbean. 
There are concerns among public officers who will retire in a few years from the public service. Anissa Perdomo is a senior tax officer at the tax department who will retire in the next two years. I'm not there yet as being in 55. I will be in a couple of years. So there is a question of what would happen to me when I retire um, between 50 and 55. Who is going to be monitoring the scheme with officers at those that, that age be at the end, be joining into the contributory pension. Why I say that is because you're reaching that time, you know, you should be preparing yourself to retire. You shouldn't be preparing to take on another deduction as such. President of the Public Service Union, Dean Flowers, says the union is open to further discussion on the topic. The PSU, however, does not agree that a public service pension reform is an urgent necessity, at least not before tax reform. The government to date is unable to provide to the joint unions the quantity, the sums, the millions, if not billions of dollars that they are losing in tax evasion and tax avoidance where uh, customs and excise tax duty um, tax are concerned. They're unable to quantify the leakages in the business sector where general sales tax is concerned. They're unable to quantify how many corporate income, income tax we're losing, how much money in taxpayers' dollars have been given away in tax holidays and fiscal incentives to multinationals and private sector investors. <laughs> Aside from being a senior tax officer, Anissa Perdomo is also the Public Service Union's first vice president. She believes that while university graduates should pursue employment within the public service, they need to pay keen attention to the terms of their employment. If you're deciding to join the public service, make sure you know what your contract of employment entails. It used to be after 15 years, you start to contribute, um, you would get a full pension. Okay. Now it will exchange from to what? The meeting later this week between the government and the unions should answer these concerns definitively. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.